Okay, so uh, I went for my uh, consultation <laughs> at, the, at the VFW with Lisa and uh, all the others there. Uh, man, I tell you, <laughs> I feel like I'm living in Louisiana down in the bayou. Um, they were telling me how to wrestle a gator. Oh, man, you know, you just grab him by the tail and you can pull him. Pull him wherever you want him and just throw him back in the in the swim. <laughs> you know, I I'm not the crocodile hunter. I'm not going to grab a gator by the tail and throw him down in the swamp. Now I, that one gator, um, I guess he was sleeping. Uh, that's why he was sitting there with his mouth open, and I could have walked right past him, according to them. Um, so I don't know. You know, I'm a city slicker. I I'm learning about these things, but um, we're going to get back on the trail tomorrow gonna do the Florida Trail. I just want to make a quick video uh, just to kind of talk about things. Um, you know, as you know, we were at Sunny Hill. The grass is getting deep. Um, i tell you how stupid I am. Those weren't chiggers. <laughs> They're called wood ticks. Um, did not know the difference. I mean, I, I uh, and uh, boy, they do burrow down in the skin. Um, you know, I can show you what it looks like. I mean, oh my God, my, my legs are like hamburger. I mean, look at, look at that. That's where the wood ticks got me. I mean, man, they uh, they really did a number. I had a spider bite up here. Um, the fleas, uh, well, I, you know, I'm from Paris Island. I mean, they're sand fleas. Uh, that's what they are. And uh, so, you know, here's some more bites uh, right here. So I am, I know you think I'm crazy. We're going to get back on the trail tomorrow. I asked them, well, you know, the first question was, you know, what do you do to... Um, to keep them off. Well, obviously, I mean, you can use insect repellent, and that's what I've got plenty of it. And, uh, you know, repels ticks, I mean, stupid me. <laughs> you know, so, so we're going to be spraying this on. Uh, now, I saw on the internet, this is distilled white vinegar. Um, I'm going to spray that on the clothes. Uh, you know, I've got, um, well, we're going to have the... Uh, this time we're going to have the hiking pants on. Um, and what I'll do is uh, when I get home, we'll just strip these off outside. And, uh, well, I'll, I'll look them over for uh, uh, wood ticks and, and fleas. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, of course, we're going to have the hikers uh, this time. I, I didn't have the hikers last time. Um, and boot blouses. We're going to have these pants bloused onto the hikers. Uh, so that should uh, get things going. I'm, I'm going to be carrying, I'm not going to be wearing it right away, but I'll have the, uh, the bug netting. Um, even the hike up in, that, in the Ocala National Forest, the mosquitoes weren't bad. So we're going east, you know, obviously I'm not going back into the Ocala National Forest. That was brutal. And plus I want to test out the distilled white vinegar and the uh, uh, repel uh, bug spray that's what they said just spray it all over you um, so we'll see uh, you know and of course I'm gonna have some snacks and whatnot gotta gotta have the toilet paper <laughs> you know it's it's uh, and of course we'll have hiking socks this time not uh, that's why these these bites are on me is I just had regular white uh, well I had these socks on rather than hiking socks and I have a feeling if I'd had hiking socks on I wouldn't have had that problem you know, it's just, uh, I'm stupid, man. It's, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I got all the gear, I got everything I need, and yet I do stupid stuff like hike up into the Nash, the Kala National Forest with nothing but tennis shoes and, and white socks on and just get eaten alive by the wood ticks. Um, of course, you know, oh, this is, this is another thing. Um, you know, like I said, I got my garden in the back. Just wanted to kind of talk about that. Uh, cherry tomatoes are coming in. I'm getting them by the dozens. Um, loving them, man. I tell you, I just, I just gobble them down. This is a jalapeno. And I, Lisa says I, I picked it just a little bit too early. Um, so this is a potent sucker. You wouldn't want to bite into it. Um, but uh, tomorrow, um, we're going to make jalapeno peppers. And I got, a, I got a bunch more on the vines. Uh, we're going to pull those and then uh, make jalapeno peppers out of them. Man, I tell you, that, that with the cream cheese, that should be really freaking good. You know, that's why I'm encouraging you guys, get, get, get yourself a garden, you know. Um, 
and of course I'll I'll have the backpack and this time uh, I'm gonna be a lot more prepared I'm gonna have a ton a ton of water <laughs> along this time so let, let's just show you what hiking socks look like you know uh, so um, that's that's what I'll be wearing tomorrow um, now I do care I always carry along a pair of gloves uh, you know because sometimes you know you might get into a situation where you need to move something out of the way and uh, yeah I just I just have a pair of gloves down in here and uh, and uh, I haven't been carrying the snacks because it got too hot and I took them out uh, these are fig newtons um, uh, but I you know I will be carrying some snacks tomorrow uh, probably a couple apples um, so and then of course the bear spray I'll, I'll have it down in here but I mean what good is it gonna do me if I can't get to it fast enough I mean if a bear comes out of nowhere but more than likely I'll see him long before he gets to me and I'll be able to get this out so we'll we'll have that along for the uh, the trail um, so should be a good hike I'm just gonna go a couple hours uh, I'm not doing, I mean, I, like I said, it's 5.5 miles uh, between um, Ross Prairie and the next uh, parking lot. And uh, that would be a 10 to well, 11 mile hike. And uh, I, I, I can't hike 11 miles anymore. I, I'm too old and fat and out of shape. But uh, so we'll just get in there about halfway. And then uh, I'm going to look online tonight and uh, see where the, uh, the next entrance to the Florida Trail is. We're going to see how I survive. You know, if I get all those wood ticks again and the fleas and uh, everything else that I endured this last time, and of course, chiggers, I had chiggers on me. Um, well, we probably might be done with the Florida Trail until uh, we get the first frost because that's, that, that's what Lisa tells me that, uh, that kills all of the, uh, the, um, the, the wood ticks and everything so that you can hike back in the forest. But uh, from what I've seen, where we're going tomorrow going east uh, it it's just it wasn't that bad a hike and I don't anticipate with with the preparations that I'm making here uh, with the white vinegar and the bug spray and everything I think we're gonna be all right so um, we'll see you know um, so tomorrow you know I'm looking forward to it uh, I wasn't sure I would get back on the trail this quickly you know, here's another bag of some Slim Jims and bars you know uh, so we got everything we need. We're good to go. The, the, the motorcycle's gassed up. I, uh, you know, that's one of the things um, that that I'm doing now is uh, I keep two gas cans in the garage here. Uh, one's a one gallon, and the other's a, a two and a half gallon or three gallon. And uh, that one gallon uh, gas jug, you can just you can just fill this thing up just to the brim, and that gives me about a 250 mile radius with this. Uh, motorcycle um, so you know whereas if you go to the gas station I swear every time I would try to fill up the uh, the motorcycle because the gas comes out so fast because it's made for cars you know it would just it, it, it would overflow and man I get gas spewing everywhere and I was like screw this you know so that's why I'm just keeping the gas cans here plus you know now with the gas cans uh, I can I can go, you know, months or uh, you know, a couple, couple, three weeks going out grocery shopping and everything with the motorcycle, uh, getting that, that type of mileage. I, I guess with those gas cans, I've got about a 700 mile radius. You know, you think about that. That's that's a lot of shopping. You know, going going to stores uh, if I need uh, supplies or groceries or whatever. So let's uh, let's cap it off there. Um, you know, I am I am looking into um, improving the videos. Uh, you know, as you can see, I got the mic on here. Um, you know, and there are a couple of videos that I saw. There's this uh, there's this there's this software OB, OBS. Gosh, dang it! I want to say OBS Studio. It's uh, open source, and uh, it would be cool because I was always wondering how the YouTubers could capture their computer screen at the same time as the webcam is is taking you know their 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 uh, portrait in the upper right hand corner and you have that little window and uh, so I'm gonna kinda work on doing some videos to show you where we've been you know by just showing it on the computer I'll have the computer screen in one one side picture and then have the uh, the other and we'll we'll make some videos that way so uh, you know I'm expanding the channel I'm learning 
Um, it's uh, and, and I, I am I'm probably going to buy the DaVinci software. It's uh, three hundred and ninety nine dollars, I think. And um, do I need to buy it? No, I mean the free version is working just fine. But uh, I have a feeling that that's going to give me access to um, well, you get what you pay for, right? So we'll probably be able to put some music on the videos and you know. Because that's a, the copyrights are just so insane. You know that's why I try to keep people's faces off the videos or any signs. You know you don't want a subway sign or something crazy in the background. Um, you got to be real, real careful about that stuff. And uh, so because you never know where the lawsuit's going to come from. It, 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 use a picture. You can't use a if it's not your picture, don't use it. Uh, and even then, take the metadata out of the picture. Um, so anyway, that's it. Um, Jalapeno poppers, baby. And uh, we'll get this video up and uh, we'll hit back on the Florida Trail tomorrow. Never thought I'd get back so soon. Yeah, yeah, look at me. I'm, I'm eating. I'm eating alive, man. <laughs> they got me good uh, because I was stupid. I was stupid. This time we're not going to be stupid. This time we're going to be prepared. Um, you know, we're going to we're going to douse ourselves with vinegar. We're going to we're going to hit it with the bug spray. We're going to have the hiking shoes on. We're going to have the, the bloused uh, hiking pants on. Um, we're going to have the bug netting. Um, so should be good to go all day tomorrow. Uh, heading back to Ross Prairie. That's where we're going to venture out from. And uh, you guys chill out. Oh, man. It's hell getting old. Yeah. <sighs>